Welcome again to Stellar Eureka. Our exploration takes us today into the heart of Frozen Mysteries with the 20 Strangest Things Found in Ice, Part 1. In number 20, the fascinating tale of the Ice Maiden. In the vast and frozen expanse of the Altai Mountains, where Russia, Mongolia, China and Kazakhstan converge, a breathtaking world of ancient secrets was found under layers of permafrost. Back in 1993, the astonishing mummified remains of a young woman of about 25 years old were found. She is now famously known as the Siberian Ice Maiden. The young woman had intricate tattoos adorning her skin, offering a remarkable glimpse into the beliefs and customs of the Paiseric people, a nomadic tribe that roamed the region over 2500 years ago. But that's not all, the Ice Maiden's burial was accompanied by an entourage of six horses, meticulously positioned in a radial pattern, signifying her elevated status in her society. Her body had been really taken care of, with her skin embalmed with herbs, graces and wool. Her hair turned out to be a wig made of two layers of female hair, crowned with a felt spike embellished with gold foil birds. As for the Ice Maiden's fate, the mystery surrounding her death has been subject of scientific investigation. While the exact cause remains uncertain, evidence suggests that she might have been suffering from breast cancer. Researchers have theorized that the pain from the illness led her to use cannabis, which was found in her tomb for relief. Get ready now for a chilling tradition that will leave you both intrigued and puzzled. Our number 19 entry takes us to the heart of Canada's Yukon Territory, where there is a bizarre drinking ritual that has captivated the curious and the daring alike. In 1973, a jar containing a pickled toe was discovered by Captain Dick Stevenson after buying a cabin in the mountains. That cabin had been previously owned by two bootlegging brothers in the 1920s. Inspired by this bizarre artifact, Stevenson introduced the Sour Toe cocktail to the world. The concept was simple yet outrageous, a shot of alcohol, your choice of beverage, and a dehydrated human toe as a garnish. The catch? Your lips must touch the toe while taking the shot, and the toe must remain intact, no swallowing, chewing, or biting allowed. You can drink it fast, you can drink it slow. But your lips must touch this gnarly toe. Throughout the years, the tradition had its mishaps, including toes being stolen or accidentally swallowed, leading to stricter rules and steeper fines. Over time, about 90,000 people from across the globe have stepped up to the challenge in downtown hotel Savardu Salon in Dawson City. If you're wondering about toe supply, don't worry about it. Captain Dick's legacy was secured even after his passing. In fact, he wheeled all 10 of his toes to downtown hotel, ensuring a steady stream of toe donations. From the heart of Canada to the frost expanses of Antarctica, history keeps revealing its hidden treasures and this one tastes quite good. In the early 1900s, British explorer Ernest Shackleton and his team embarked on the British Antarctic expedition. To their demise, buried deep within the ice at Cape Royds, they left behind a trio of crates containing McKinley's rare old Highline Malt, a 1907 whiskey. A hundred years later, in February 2007, the frozen treasure was found with three bottles being returned to the highlands of Scotland under the care of Richard Peterson. His mission was to resurrect Shackleton's spirit, a whiskey recipe that was long lost. If you are a whiskey aficionado, you are in luck. Today you can buy what's a really close blend to the one that Ernest Shackleton left behind, with ice being an option on this one. Much like the frozen whiskey, this discovery was a revelation frozen in time. A century-old box of photographic negatives, carefully preserved by the New Zealand's Antarctic Heritage Trust, unlocked a visual narrative of the past an unseen chapter in the story of Antarctic exploration. It was in photographer's Herbert Ponting's dark room that these photo negatives were found, clumped together and weathered by the years at Scott Huts in Cape Evans. 
removed from the icy grip of Antarctica and brought to New Zealand, the negatives underwent a meticulous process of conservation. The delicate layers of cellulose nitrate were separated, cleaned, and consolidated by photographic conservator Mark Strange. Each sheet, fragile and prone to decay, revealed its hidden contents, a collection of 22 never-seen-before images documenting the life of Antarctic explorers about a hundred years ago. We go from one treasure box to another, for this one we have to climb the Alps where in January 24, 1966, Air India Flight 101, a Boeing 707, crashed on the Mont Blanc, which is France's highest peak. The airplane crash claimed all 117 passengers, leaving behind a scene of devastation atop of the mountain. Despite efforts to recover wreckage, much remained hidden due to harsh weather. However, in 2013, 47 years after the plane crash, an intrepid mountaineer stumbled upon a metal box. It was filled with precious emeralds, sapphires and rubies with an estimated value of 246,000 heroes, about 268,000 US dollars. The climber's honesty prevailed as he handed over the treasure to the mayor of Chamonix, a town at the base of Mont Blanc. However, it took eight long years after their discovery in 2021 that the jewels found new owners. The mayor of Chamonix revealed that the gemstones had been divided into two equal lots shared between the climber and the local authorities as per the law of the region. Would you have kept the jewels? Or honesty would have prevailed and you would do the same as the climber? Let us know in the comment section. In the shadow of towering Odzal Alps, a monumental discovery emerged from the ice. An ancient traveler known as Otzi the Iceman, our number 15 on the list. On September 19, 1991, during a mountain hike, German holidaymakers Erika and Helmut Simon stumbled upon a human corpse with only its upper body emerging from the ice. Thanks to meticulous analysis of the body and belongings, the South Tyrol Museum of Archaeology in Bolzano, Italy revealed Ozzy's identity. Wiry and short, about 46 years old, left-handed, with dark brown eyes and hair, who lived about 5,000 years ago. His clothing was crafted with hides of local animals, carrying with him a flint dagger, a fire-making kit and a cooper axe. With over 800 academic papers throughout 30 years of research, scientists have been able to determine the cause of death, an arrow wound shot from 30 meters away. When you hear this one, you won't believe it. What if I told you that in the Beartooth Mountains of Montana, there is a glacier full of frozen ancient grasshoppers. In fact, the place is named the Grasshopper Glacier. Crazy grasshopper swarms, known as locusts, have been registered throughout the history. One of the most notorious ones is the Albers Swarm of 1975 that stretched an estimated 1,800 miles with 12.5 trillion grasshoppers darkening the skies. It's not too out there to think how some of these swarms were able to journey over the mountains and climates, many to end up meeting their icy fate. Carbon dating reveals that the grasshoppers trapped in Wyoming Glacier date as far back as the 1300s. Human expansion and cultivation has had an impact on the grasshoppers, to the point where these swarms are becoming a thing of the past. Perhaps another enigmatic history secret will be discovered as the grasshopper glacier slowly melts away. Time will tell. As we venture further in the heart of frozen mysteries, we arrive at the banks of the Danube River. Imagine the scene, a frosty winter's day, the Danube waters coursing by, and the silhouette of a full frozen fox locked in the ice. The discovery was made by hunter Franz Steckley, who spotted the frozen animal, a creepy reminder of the river's dangers. The hunter decided to take the frozen fox out of the river and put it behind their house as a warning for those who think they can trust the ice. But, according to Stackley, this is not the first time that it has happened. Stackley's experience in the hunting field reveals that animals breaking through the ice of the nearby river is not as rare as we might think. 
The fox was probably trying to hunt water birds that gather in ice-free areas in the middle of the water. They are good swimmers, but if ice breaks, they can no longer pull themselves up at the edge of the ice. An ancient pair of wooden skis are our number 12 entry on the list of the strangest things found in frozen ice. Well, skis are normally used with snow, but not that ancient. In 2014, a solitary wooden ski frozen in the ice on Dijvarden mountain in southern Norway emerged. Seven years later, in 2021, the second half of this ancient pair of skis was discovered. The 1,200-year-old pair are among the best-preserved ancient skis ever found. What's even more remarkable is that the missing ski found in 2021 was even in better condition. The skis measured 74 inches in length and 7 inches in width, showcasing raised footholds that hint at their usage. Accompanying these skis are leather straps and bindings made from twist birch bark, offering a glimpse into the meticulous craftsmanship of an era gone by. We find ourselves now in Antarctica, a continent that's synonymous with ice and desolation. However, recent revelations have brought to light a remarkable story buried beneath its frozen surface. A rainforest thrived there approximately 90 million years ago. It was during a period known as the Middle Cretaceous, dinosaurs roamed the Earth and sea levels were dramatically higher. Back then, the Antarctica was far from the frozen land that we envision today when we think about it. In fact, evidence suggests that the continent was home to a thriving temperate rainforest similar to the forest that can be currently found in New Zealand. This discovery was made thanks to scientists who analyzed the sediment cores from the seabed near Pine Island Glacier in West Antarctica. The sediment of this ancient forest, which is basically its bottom layer, had a rich network of roots, along with traces of pollen, spores, and remnants of flowering plants from the Cretaceous period. That thriving ecosystem was made possible by the warm temperatures of the Cretaceous period, fueled by significant higher atmospheric carbon dioxide concentrations. What still remains a mystery is what led to the transformation of the Antarctica to become now the place that holds 90% of the ice on our planet and 70% of its fresh water. In number 10, we shift our focus to a chilling chapter of human icy realms exploration. The HMS Terror, HMS standing for Her Majesty's Ship, was originally constructed in 1913 as a state-of-the-art warship for the British Royal Navy. However, as time went on, the HMS Tever was repurposed for polar exploration. In 1939, it became part of the expedition commanded by Captain Sir John Franklin, a seasoned polar explorer, with the main goal to conduct scientific research and mapping uncharted territories in the Arctic. Keep in mind back then that much of that frozen territory was unknown to humanity. Unfortunately, the HMS Terror most famous voyage didn't end as planned. In 1945, trying to discover the Northwest Passage, a sea route connecting the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans through the Arctic Archipelago of Canada, both the HMS Terror and the HMS Airbus became trapped in ice, and despite their crew's valiant efforts, they were eventually abandoned. None of its crew members survived the ordeal. As the ice continued to crush the ships, the men faced extreme cold and hunger, eventually succumbing to the harsh conditions. The exact circumstances of their perishment are unknown, as no survivors returned to provide first-hand accounts. For almost 200 years, the fate and whereabouts of the HMS Terror remain a mystery. It wasn't until 2014 that the HMS Airbus was discovered submerged in Arctic waters. And two years later, in 2016, the HMS Terror's wreckage was finally located next to King William Island in Canada's Arctic in a remarkable state of preservation thanks to the cold Arctic waters. This discovery shed light on the tragic tale of the last Sir John Franklin expedition and provided valuable historical artifacts and insights into the challenges faced by early Arctic explorers. We have arrived at the end of part one of this episode. Stay tuned for the second part where we will cover the 10 remaining strangest things found in ice. If you have enjoyed this first part, please give it a like. It costs nothing and it helps me a lot growing this channel 
just so I can reach other curious minds like yours. This is Stella Rorica, signing off.